<clears throat> well, howdy, y'all. How y'all doing today? I'm working on a 1760 series big rig shaft today. Customer told me he might have a problem down here on the ceiling here that connects to the rear end. So, let's just do a little investigating on it. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check out the U-joint. Now, just by looking at this, I can tell that's a Meritor U-joint. And in my opinion, that might be part of its problem. Because I absolutely just hate Meritor U-joints. And then, you know, again, that's my opinion. Of course, I've been working on these things now for three years. Building them five days a week. So I kind of have a little, a little bit better opinion about them than some folks that just, you know, uses them every now and then. I do not like them. But let's just investigate this one just for the fun of it. First thing I want to do, I want to pull the cap off. Then we're going to wipe the grease off of her. Now what we're doing, we're looking for any chatter mark, any scarring, any addictions in it, rough places. I don't really see much. Feel a couple of small little chatter marks on it. Nothing too major. I see the other side I already had it off and wiped off. It's about the same way. Nothing too bad. A little bit of discoloring on it from where it's gotten hot. I tell them this side was vibrating a little bit just because of that. But, like I said, nothing too major, so let's check out the yoke now. Alright, wait to investigate the yoke. See if your yoke is wore out. Take two boats <coughs> off. Now, these you joints are built kind of with a tattletale. Your yokes is wore out, and the cap has got slack in it. This little flat plate right here just break off. All right, if it hasn't got to that point yet, and it's not broke loose, you can check it by grabbing it and seeing if it'll turn or pick up and down. You do not want this cap spinning, and you do not want to be able to install or remove this cap by hand. Alright, so either you're going to take the boats off and it's going to be, you know, broke loose, or you're going to take the boats off and it's going to be, you know, real loose and you can pick it up and down. And that's on the wore out one. Now one that ain't wore out, you're going to take the boats loose. You're going to put it up in a vise. You just sledgehammer like that one there and have to beat the U-joints out of it. Or you use a U-joint puller and hold a lot of air pressure and finally get them to pop loose. So let's see if this one right here is either broke or loose. Now again, I should not be able to turn this by hand. Let's see. All right, it's turning. Feels like it might be a little bit. All right. The title tail is broke. Tell me the yoke four out. Let's see, if I grab this joint right here by the journal and start turning it, that cap might start turning with us. Look at that. See that cap moving right there? That is how you tell if your joint is wore out. I mean, your yoke is wore out. <clears throat> if your joint will spin on the inside here, you have got a wore out yoke. That same is on your vehicles, big rigs, anything. Anything with you joint on. Steering shaft, whatever. You do not want this cap to be turning on the inside of it, y'all. So, I should be able to grab a hold of this right here and lift up and that 
the rest of that cap will come right on out. Look at that. You do, you do not want that right there. All right. That yoke is or slap out. On your um, vehicle shafts, you you know, pull it out, go and change your U-joint. Just grab a hold of the journal a little bit and turn. And you, can, you, you can look on your vehicle, you got snap rings like this right here. That'll be sitting like that. You can turn it and watch the cap underneath the snap ring. If it sits there and turns, you know, that means your yoke is wore out. Yoke's wore out, what we have to do, cut this weld off. Get the weld cut off. We'll replace it with a brand new yoke. Crew it back up with this machine here. Weld it up, balance it, and you're good to go. But in all other memory, I'll be sure to keep your U-joints greased. And really, there's no way to prevent the yokes to be, you know, to get wore out. Except for whenever you replace your U-joints, you know, when they start getting, you know, a good bit of miles on them, replace them, use anti-seize, and just, you know, keep them greased. And keep a close eye out. Because when one yoke will start going bad, have the other ones checked, and just get it replaced. One yoke goes bad, and you sit there and get a very, you know, just a little bit of a vibration on it. You just ignore it and just keep driving and keep driving. Well, heck, you know, it ain't going to be too long. You're going to have to end up getting a whole complete dry shaft built. When if you would have stopped and got it fixed right then, you could have just got away with one yoke. You know, one yoke and a couple of yoke joints a whole lot cheaper than a whole new dry shaft. But, again, that's how you check, you know, to see if your yoke's bad. See if your cap on your yoke joint will turn on the inside of your yoke. And if you can install them, pull them out with your hands without any tools. That's bad. Well, I'm about to have to cut this weld off. Y'all fellas have a good one. Yee, yee.